Hello friends, today we are going to see about clinical examination of motor 2. For that you have to remember certain things. First, a reflex. A reflex is defined as an involuntary response to a threshold stimulus obtained by stimulating a sensor receptor. There are different types of reflexes. First, simple reflex. Second, complex reflex. A simple reflex are consist of one synapse. The complexity of reflex are increases with increase in number of synapse. Simple reflex example stretch reflex that is only one synapses. Complex reflex example withdraw reflex that is two or more synapses. Now we will see about reflex arc. A reflex arc consists of a sensory organ, an afferent neuron, one or more synapses that is center, an afferent neuron and finally and affect our organs. To understand the reflex, we should remember one thing. A stimulus has to be applied to excite the sense organ. Stimulus may be chemical, mechanical, dermal or osmotic. Based on this picture, you can understand the components of reflex are receptor that is site of stimulus. A friend fiber carries a transmission sensory impulses from the receptor to stimulus. Center. Center receives the sensory impulses and in turn it generates appropriate motor impulses. Efferent now the transmit motor impulses from the center to the effector organ. Effector organ the muscle or gland that responds to stimulus. Superficial reflexes are plantar reflex, abdomen reflex, corneal reflex, conjectival reflex, pupillary reflexes. Don't forget to remember their root values. Deep reflexes are jaw jerk, bicep, triceps, knee jerk, ankle jerk, plantar reflexes are coming under this category. For abdomen reflex, take a pointed object. I am here using backside of knee hammer and take a stroke from lateral to medial. So you can get the shrink or contraction of the abdomen muscle. For jaw jerk, the root value is pons. Ask the subject to keep the mouth partially open with the jaw muscle relaxed. Keep the index finger or thumb over the chin and focus with the hammer. There is partial closure of the mouth can be observed. To examine the bicep jerk, the root value is C5, C6. Elbow is fixed at the right angle. The forearm is slightly pronated and supinated on the examiner's forearm. The thumb is placed on the biceps tendon to fix it and focus with the hammer. The contraction of the bicep is either seen or felt. To examine the triceps, the root value is C6, 7 and C8. The forearm is flexed at the right angle and supported at the wrist. The tricep tendon is struck with the hammer just proximal to the olecranon. Extension of the elbow is seen. To examine the supinator or brachioradialis reflex, the root value is C5, C6. The forearm is flexed at the right angle and is in mid-prone position. Supported at the wrist and strike the tendon at styroid process of the radius with the hammer. There is flexion and partial supination of the forearm. To examine the knee jerk, L2, L3, L4 is the root value. Just lift the knee like what I am showing in the picture. Allow the upper leg to hang loosely. Give a short tap on the patellar tendon with the hammer. Extension of the leg and contraction of contrast is seen. If the response is not seen or not felt, tell the subject to cleanse their teeth and hook their palm like what I am showing in the picture. That is known as Jandarsky maneuver. It diverts the person's attention towards what they are doing in the performance. To examine the ankle jerk, the root value is L5, S1, S2. Ask the subject to flex the knee and like what I am showing in the picture and do the Jandarsky maneuver and cleanse the teeth to divert the person's attention towards what we are doing and slightly dorsiflex the foot and give a tap on the tendooculus with the hammer. The plantar flexion of the foot is observed. Likewise, you can examine right and left foot and observe the angle jerk. This is the another method to examine the ankle jerk in landon position. So don't forget to, if the response is not coming properly, maintain the Jandarsky maneuver. While maintaining the Jandarsky maneuver, we can see the prominence of the reflexes. So this is the right leg. Now we are doing left as well. See the different position. How I am doing? Now we move on to plantar reflex. The root value for this is L5, S1, S2. See that the sole is dry and warm. With the sharp end of the hammer, start stroking from the lower lateral border of the sole at the base of the toes turn medially and proceed further up to the base of the great toe. The plantar flexion is the great toe is a normal response. When there is dorsiflexion of the great toe and fanning of toes, the response is called as Babinski sign. The examination of motor toe is done by sitting position. Ready? Cleanse the teeth. Nice. 
come in the video this everything huh? relax fully how you sit in that window seat like huh? the swinging also you have to take Don't forget to say thanks to your subject. Thank you.